<laughs> hey guys, this is Red Thanatos and today we have another live arena session. So as we always do, let's go straight into it. The hunt for Quintus begins again. Let's see how this day will go. Always remember guys, have positive vibes and everything will be okay. Okay, I believe he has a Sifi, so I'm picking Sifi over Armands. Let's try to get the first turn. As it is, we are planning to ban Armands right now. Let's see what else. So he is planning to ban my Arbiter. Fine with me. And this is what we will ban. After all, I think that our Warlord should be faster than his Armands. We have the banner too. Let's see. Yeah, this should be a W. Good. That's a good beginning. You see, that's why you want your Warlord to be very fast, because even if they ban your Sifi and uh, try to pull up the Torment trick, uh, you will have to go first again because of the banner that we have and of course of the Speed Aura. Armands has a weaker Speed Aura. So all this combination together makes you go first with your Warlord. And I can't stress enough just how important it is to go first. So that counter attack messed up, but no problem. Warrior comes for the rescue. GG my friend, let's go next. So what we want here is another speed aura. Yes, let's go with 
çıkar diye. So I don't think that I will win this one, but let's try, let's try. We are first, 100% with our Shifi, but Zina will come and cut us down. Hmm, what do you say? Should I risk? Just sleeping Arbiter and then my Warlord cuts in. Let's see. Yes! That was perfect. That was just perfect. Bye bye Zina. And that's a W. Very nice. Let's go next. We are chilling. We are vibing here. I always enjoy my PvP. I'm planning to ban his hegemon because I don't see another real threat here. Let's see the final two picks. Okay. So you want to use the bomber. Let's fight him with his own weapon. I've made a very very small build for Gaius. Of course, I don't know if this will be enough. It's just an experimental build to be honest. I'm not really accustomed into playing champions with bombs. But this is a perfect opportunity to check him out. So let's see, first of all my friend, your bomber doesn't even have a stone skin. I know that you have cardinal here and this is something like a master plan or something. So fortunate for us, we didn't kill his Gnisak. I will slip him though. Yeah, the plan is not going exactly as you planned it, right? Again, sleep. Oh, no problem. So we don't want to kill anyone else. Sleep. Yes. And now it's time
remember guys when you are facing cardinal just do everything you can so that you kill her first if you can do that be ready to kill her straight away after the dps that you killed because she will revive it and that will be annoying for you So can we kill her here? I'm not really sure. But at least two champions of mine have... Yes. That was a GG. And the build on Gaius wasn't strong enough, to be honest. So I'll have to fix it a bit better. I think that you don't have a CP. Let's see. Am I right? Yep, I was right. Let's do this. Come on. Let's fight. So what do we have here? We have Sigrun here. Yep. I think that he is going to ban my Armands because of the speed aura and because he is Armands. So what I want to ban is his Siegfried. Even though I have a Hellcat, I am not confident enough that those three strippers will allow me to have block damage. So. I believe his Lissandra might be a speed goddess. Let's see if I'm right. I'm not really confident on getting the first turn here. Yes, I was right. Uh, this, this should be a lose. This is a defeat. Maybe his Wukong isn't that strong, but he already has the decrease cooldown now, he will decrease Argon and stun us again, and now Wukong will destroy us. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't resist that, we didn't have any luck. Too bad, too bad, because this Wukong was very, very weak. That was a big fat L from our side, because his builds were very weak. But just because of the champions, and of course he was focusing Lissandra, with at least 370 speed that was the key for his victory and of course we didn't have any ship to counter that so basically it is what it is no problem though we continue Oof, you got my warlord. I really hate it when this happens. So, you have a man's arbiter warlord, right? You want to play first 100%. Let's see what happens now. You are low on points, so I believe that you don't have a full stone skin, Armands and warlord. 
Let's see if I'm right or wrong. And I have to prepare for the last champion. I have to see what his last will be. Okay. So, I think I think I should ban Armands. Let's see. Did we play this well? Of course, Rotos is not the best thing to have when you have Hegemon because he will counter. So, yes. Even if Warlord locks us out, we have Mikage for that. Let's try at least. Yeah, we lost. We lost this one too. Unfortunately. It happens. I'm having problems again with the lighting. This has become very, very boring for me. So, I think that most of my problems are fixed right now. Let's continue with the fight. Sorry for that, guys. I had to fix it. So we are banning his armands 100%. Taras and Elva. I believe that we are okay here. I'm not sure about his speed though. And of course, an Elva is an Elva. She can really carry the game if she's not killed fast. Now it's all about luck and we were okay with that so we have them lock them out let's apply the stun now because even the a1s are very strong and we won gg Yep, 
Good game, my friend. Let's go next. I think you don't have a city. Let's see. Lucky guess. Yeah, nice try. He won't bite though. And what will be his last pick? Very interesting here since we will ban his Hegemon of course. This would be a stun set Hegemon. I believe so because of the ship blessing that he has. And we have some resistance for Tormin. This is a nice Tormin too, with accuracy. I'm figuring all this out from the blessings. I could be very wrong about this. And I think we already won. Warlord for the win guys. Warlord is an amazing champion that carries every single fight. He's just too good to be true. And the funny thing is, yesterday I had two void shards, just two void shards and I say what the hell, let's pull them. And I got myself a Warlord on the free-to-play account. That's one of the biggest W's in the history of Shard Pools for me. It came straight out of the blue. And it made our account really a lot, lot better. Whoa, imagine. Imagine losing now. <laughs> GG, my friend. Let's go next. Three hundred and ninety nine points left for Quintus. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I believe that you don't have a Sifi. Although you have a Platinum Avatar which it makes it about 50% more chances that you have one. Wow, plus 4 Arbiter. Very nice. This should be a very, very fast Arbiter. Let's see. I'm not eager into seeing how fast this Arbiter is. Although it doesn't have a 6 star blessing. Man, what are you doing? You have to ante up your work with a blessing. Plus 4 Arbiter with a 6 star blessing could reach about 450 speed. You have to do it. This would be an amazing amount of speed. So what do we have here? We have King Narcisse. Let's go with Helica for the protection of Sigmund. And Narcisse of course. So if he bans my CP, he would definitely go first with his Arbiter. Now I will ban his Arbiter and just hope that my Warlord is faster than his Shuzhen. But if this is the real deal of what will happen here, this should be really really a shame. 
So let's see. Now the things have turned. Because he has the speed aura and I don't have it. But I believe that my city is really, really a lot faster than his Suzen. Let's see. Nope. We lost. <laughs> sometimes you get it, sometimes you get God. So maybe that arbiter was a bluff. It could be, right. The only chances we have here is it's if he resists and he didn't. GG. So 30% more speed. Yeah, that Susan should be really fast. Because of course I will not tell you the speed of my Sifi for obvious reasons. But... Uh, I believe that that Susan was really, really fast. Sometimes the only thing that it takes to win the match is a speed aura. That was my bad. I didn't take Wukong there, I don't remember. I don't remember the fight. As we climb, the matches are beginning to get really, really hard. And we can definitely feel the change. As you can see now, we are facing two mythicals and a Gorgid. I mean, we can feel the change in our bones. So. What do we ban here? Let's hope for the best. I don't think we can win this team again. Because he will ban my Sifi. Or even if he ban my Warlord again we will have trouble. Because I believe that this Armands is on a stone skin. Let's see. Yeah, he banned my Sifi. So let's see who is faster. His Armands or our Warlord. Our warlord, but this is not enough because of this dude here. He will destroy our team now. So what should I do? You had to counter attack for real, my friend. You just had to. Okay, that was good. If we can keep Mikage alive, He went for Wukong. Just don't go for Mikage. Okay, let's see what can we do now. If I remember correctly... Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we lost. And it seems that we are now entering 
the whale area with all the mythicals and all the annoying fights and that's why I believe that raid is dying those mythicals really destroyed the free to play players there is no salvation and don't tell me that okay some free to play players already have one or two mythicals because the whales have already got plus two plus three and plus four full teams of mythical so the gap is just too big it just is They made a good change by trying to empower the epics but this is not enough to be honest when our plus 4 epics are going to fight plus 4 mythics this is just funny so hmm Do we need? Yes, maybe the accuracy, maybe. Let's hope that this hegemon can do at least something. We weren't able to kill anyone, we weren't able to lock out anyone, it is what it is. Sometimes you just can't feel the luck anywhere, just can't feel the luck. I mean, does he has a team that's over 300 resistance, everyone in this team? Come on man, that's a joke. Of course he doesn't have that, he just has luck. And I'm not enjoying this series of defeats. Let's hope this will change. Very nice. Which is exactly what I was talking about. People are just not playing live arena and people are just leaving raid.
Oof. That was some bad guessing. Of course, of course, my friend, of course. I feel you, don't worry, don't worry though, don't worry, I feel you. And of course he didn't get stunned. Uh, this game is stupid. Mm. And his time was removed. Oh my god, what, what am I witnessing here? What is this? Bro, you lost it all by yourself you had a 99.9 chance for winning there and you just chose to lose i don't understand i don't understand why you played it just as you played it but thank you for that i will take the points I have to guys, I have to. I know I'm risking my warlord, but I have to pick Wukong where they pick Armands. It's just natural. Now I'm debating if I'm going to go with Helicath or Mikage. His last picks will show me the way. Let's see. Again that annoying Lissandra. I think I'll go with Helica. Let's hope he doesn't ban those three. And of course, let's hope that his Armand is slower than my Warlord. Hmm. Maybe I should have let Lissandra play Because even if she went first she wouldn't be really that threat for me I think this should be a GG Yep Let's go next Oh guys, today, just because I believe that this something like a, a threshold that every YouTuber would have, I will try to make my first video that is over one hour. 
just as a milestone or a goal for my channel I still haven't got a video that's over one one hour I'm really close to that with some videos I have 50 minutes 55 minutes I think but I don't have a one hour video so today it's gonna be the day embrace yourselves too much live arena So we will ban his CP of course 100% so we need that, those damage dealers now we need Taras and should we go should we go with Harima for the provoke on this Kandra for let's see I believe so Of course it's Rotos. I was expecting that. At least it will be a locked out Rotos. So it's only his A1s. The only way that this guy can win me now is if his Rotos is lucky enough to pull the extra turns with his A1. He already resisted our provoke and Wukong already has resisted the lockdown of Warlord so things could go rough here Can we skip a turn? No, we can't Let's see what this Wukong will do to us What was that, my dude? I won't even target your Wukong, what was that? So guys, there is a big debate in the raid community on how to build Wukong. What I've come to an understanding is that Wukong has to be built with damage. Many people choose to build him very fast with high accuracy but his A2 is really the key in the fights and to be able to kill someone with his A2 if he's not in low HP of course you need attack you can't kill him with 4000 attack it's just not possible GG let's go next We have another 15 minutes of gameplay. You could have a CP, so I'm not risking it. And of course I paid the price. Okay, so what is this? Did you understand that you will not go first? Hmm. I mean a debate here.
That's a weird team. So we have two stone skins and Wukong and Taras. I hope he has a bolster set on. I really do. And again, Raid Shadow Lagnes. So. Ah, that was unfortunate. I can't do anything. I'm afraid. We just lost it because he banned our warlord. Okay, at least we have destroyed some of the Taras max HP. Let's see what his Wukong can do. He doesn't have an increased attack, so that's a W. Whoa, he was strong, he was strong though. And now we lost. Taras will kill our Harima, I believe. He could kill our Sifi too. Yes, it's Harima, of course. I totally get that. The barrier that 2DK has put in, in the front is really the key for this fight. Our Harima just pickled them. <laughs> yep, that was a defeat. Let's go next. Ten more minutes, guys. Bear with me. We will make this through together. So, you don't have CP. I'm 90% sure that you don't. Oof. That was sad. I should have been more like 70% sure. God, it's him again. So this should be Rotos, right? This should be Rotos.
If this is Rotos, we are banning Sifi, of course. No question about it. So now, yeah, he allowed us to play with Warlord and he doesn't have any ship on him. So I believe that we can win this. We're not playing games here. We need the win. You should just quit to be honest. You don't have chances here. Come on, ODK. It's done. He's fighting till the end, to be honest. Oof, that was low damage. I have to congratulate you about this UDK build, it's very nice, very tanky, you should be happy about it. I don't understand why you keep playing though, but okay. GG my friend. Let's go for more. Plus 4 Arbiter again, what is happening? Will this guy have a Warlord? I hope he won't. I mean, this should be a straight ban, right? What was this dude? This dude had Suzanne. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you, my friend. The last time we lost the speed because you had the speed aura and we didn't. Let's see if this time will be the same. Oh, that's a new tactic. Let's see if this will pay. Remember guys, crime never pay. <laughs> so, we are first, of course. There was no question about it. That's a stone skin. And you have the other guy protected. Let's remove the stone skin. We want to control the fight. Yep. That was a W. I told you, my dude. Let's go through the items. 
sell the garbage and keep some stuff that could be useful for the account. Level 96. Let's see what this junior has in his arsenal. I could deny him his Armands, but he has already climbed a lot, so I don't think that he is a free to play. Let's see, this will be a very interesting match. Tormin, so you want to ban my Sifi? I don't really mind. I think that we will be faster. Not 100% sure though, right? His Mikage is the problem, as always. So that was fortunate. Now we have to face the couple. Let's see. If she makes an A1, well, he is locked out. She will make an A1. He has decreased cooldown. Let's see which spell got the decreased cooldown. I don't think that he can nook my Taras with his A2. Yep, that's a W. GG my friend Congratulations for climbing up this high at your level as a free to play You are doing a great job Keep it up And we have 3 minutes left To make a whole hour I can't say that I'm particularly tired. So we'll see how the YouTube channel goes and if everything goes well. After the summer we will make a Twitch account and we will stream Live Arena in Twitch. I hope you guys will be there. So right now what I want to ban is Armands, of course, because we want to be dominating when it comes to speed. So after that it's a Warlord and it could be a Stone Skin Warlord here. I want to go with the block damage. I just want to go with the block damage. Let's see. Yep, stone skin. Everyone is a stone skin. So, we will try to go for the strip. We couldn't do it. Why did you do that, my friend? 
I can't say that I'm following you. Let's see how this goes. Do you guys see how valuable really Helicap is? The only reason that we are here is because of Helicap. Unfortunately, we didn't get the stun. But I think that this should do. Oh, it didn't. So, let's go again with the block damage. Helicath is a goddess. You can see, she was carrying the fight. That's why I always say Helicath is an S plus tile in PvP. And people are saying, wow, well, Helicath is not that good. No, no, no. No, she is carrying the fights. But of course, it's situational as all the champions are. Okay, Taras might not be situational. Taras might be good in every aspect of PvP. But let's face it, it's Taras, right? Not everybody can have Taras. Helicath is really accessible to everyone. And also you could possibly easier get a plus 4 Helicath than get a Taras in your account. Let's be honest. So, we already passed one hour, but we have two fights left, so I don't want to leave them aside. Let's end with the two fights and let's celebrate the longest video we've made till now. So we have a Rotos, Rotos, so he will pick Duchess Lilitu and another DPS. Could be Candrafon, could be Narcisse, could even be Ronda. That's, that's another way to go. That was another way to go. Yeah, I think we play first, 100%. Raid Shadow Lagnes. That's the new meme. So, let's try to kill our friend here. Yep, DZ, you're done. One last fight. Let's see how this will go. We are really happy of the results again. Very, very positive outcome. We had a lot of defeats at some point in the video, but we managed to keep our cool and continue winning. Will this be another UDK Rotos style? Now, maybe he could go for Mikage, UTK, and Rotos. Let's see. Wow, 
one thing you guys need to remember all the time when you are sitting a long long hours in your computer check your posture you have to be straight hydrate and remember to from time to time change the things that your eye is looking so maybe distract yourself with something else so that you are not looking all the time in the screen and that's of course for us boomers because to be honest the younger people are not having any problems but we boomers should be careful and I'm not joking Okay, so I guessed two of the champions, right? Let's do this. So let's see. Oof, she resisted. That was bad. But she has buffs now. So I believe that this Mithrala is dying. And that's why we picked Narcissus here, of course. Now I will not use my A3. Because I will wait for Duchess to revive them. Or not. Yep. That's another way this could go. So I'm giving you the chance to win. Let's see what your Rotos can do. How many extra turns? Yeah, it just wasn't enough. GG, my friend. We did great today. Congratulations for all of us. Firstly for me and secondly for you that you just kept in the video for one whole hour. Thank you so much, guys. I hope that you are doing very very good with your health both mentally and physically i hope that i'm going to see you on my next video thank you for watching bye bye